Okay, so one of my favorite literary periods um, is the Romantic period, which is cons uh, constituted by the late 1700s, um, in, in uh, more specifically uh, your, uh, England, but it took place in other countries as well. Okay, and we have this, this idea of, of this an initial revolution. Uh, the Romantic period is taking, is taking time uh, around the period of the American Revolution. And the end of the Romantic period, subsequently, is the failing of the French Revolution. Okay, they're considered, it's considered the, the, hippie, the hippie movement of contemporary antiquity. Uh, Okay, meaning the late 1700s. Uh, the text I want to look at here, we have um, is Confessions of an English Opium Eater by Thomas Quincy, which is uh, pretty apropos for me, right? Ha ha. Um, but let's look at this because this is about a guy. Um, who is taking opium and having weird dreams and writing about it, but attempting to do so in a literary way. Um, you got to look at, at this guy because as a, he's, he's nutty even for a romantic. Okay, there's obviously Coleridge <coughs> and Wordsworth and, the, and Keats and the classics, but he puts his own twist on being a nut. There were the same mountains and the same lovely valley at their feet. But the mountains were raised to more than alpine height, and there was interspace far larger between them of meadows and forest lawns. Um, this idea of describing dreams, I think, is, is relatively new. I mean, I'm sure it's been done, but... I don't know why I don't know why Quincy does it here, but he he feels the need to describe dreams. But opium um, eating was a was a big problem at this at this point. Okay, I think this is around the time when it was invading China, as well. Anyway, the hedges were rich with white roses, and no living creature was to be seen, expecting that in the green churchyard there were cattle tranquilly reposing upon the verdant graves okay which is is weird if you really think about it for this time that he's got cattle that are just chilling upon the graves okay these are things that aren't that aren't supposed to be going together the graves should be the graves and the cattle should be in the fields okay i don't know why he talks about things as being oriental I guess that's something uh, such as from Montesquieu and the Persian letters, even Rasselas. There's this fa there's this fascination with the East, the Far East, uh, probably because a lot of them haven't been there yet. The scene was an Oriental one, and there was also, and there also it was Easter Sunday and very early in the morning, and at a vast distance, were visible as a stain upon the horizon the domes and cupolas of a great city, an image of faint abstraction caught perhaps in childhood from some picture of Jerusalem. Uh, well, at least the little, the little numbskulls around here haven't seen pictures of Jerusalem. But this, this blending of the Holy Land with literature, um, it's something that we're only going to see more educated writers do, okay? Uh, there's not going to be any, any talk of, of this um, from Twilight, Stephanie Meyer, whatever her name is. And not a bow shot from me, upon a stone, and shaded by Judean palms, there sat a woman, and I looked, as it was, Anne. She fixed her eyes upon me earnestly, and I said to her at length, So then, I have found you at last. This guy is such a weirdo. He's just such a little weirdo. Um, what else is in here? I want to find an another passage. Um, here now was the case that had once seemed so impressive to me in a mere fiction from a far distant age and land, literally reproduced in myself. Okay, this guy is just, he's just taking way too much stuff, and he's homeless living in the streets, jotting down his notes about, about being a little nut. Um, 
cool guy, smart guy, but a little nutty little weirdo. For what did it matter whether a magician dunned one with old ropes for his engines of torture or stationer's hall with 15,000 volumes? Should I have ventriloquized? Uh, would my sister have laughed? Have either of us but guessed the possibility that I myself and within one twelve months and alas, standing alone in the world as regarded confidential counsel, should repeat within my own inner experience the shadowy panic of the young Baghdad intruder upon the privacy of magicians? What are you talking about, you little nut? He's talking about magicians and volumes in a library and his thinner, there's his sister. Um, it appeared then that I had been reading a legend concerning myself in the Arabian Nights. I had been contemplated in types a thousand years before on the bank of the Tigris. It was horror and grief that prompted that thought. Wow. That's why uh, some of us study math and science because these blatherings are just... Crazy, nutty, ding-dong, ramalama, ding-dong. Uh, thou hast the keys of paradise, O oh, just, subtle, and mighty opium. Uh, spicy sugar tea make you want to slap the mama. Um, yeah, so about that.